Hi guys, welcome back. What's up, y'all? If you have not subscribed, we want you to go down to that bottom button that yeah, says yeah. subscribe yeah, in yeah. red and yeah, just yeah. click it. It's right. that easy. That's simple. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. That's right. All right. See you in a second. Welcome to Just John and April, the place where you can come and level up your relationship. And we hope that you do that today. In today's episode, step up and be a man. And the word of the day. Whoa. So it turns out that today's episode is a little different than usual just because of where it comes from. Every Wednesday at 9, we do a live. And this past Wednesday, we stayed on longer than usual and we had way more discussion <laughs> than normal because of the subject matter. You may want to go back and watch that. So day. I'm going to just pause right here and say join us Wednesday at 9 o'clock for yep. Ask John and April Live. That's right. We've been it doing them now. It is so live. It is live. Yeah. So yeah, you join be there. us. Join, join the conversation. Us. You know, yes. we, we read almost all the comments. Yes. <laughs> we be in them the whole time it's a lot of fun yeah so this past wednesday we talked about something that um really really got a good conversation yeah man it really (laughs) resonated with people because we were talking about why it is that some men feel like their wives don't speak to them nicely or not respectfully Right. And so men we just who feel talking disrespected. About, yes. And we start talking about why right. it is that men might feel disrespected. And mm-hmm. we went in the comments and people were saying all kind of stuff. We meant April mentioned one thing about the possibility <laughs> that maybe a wife doesn't respect her husband because he's not really acting like a man. And I actually use the words that he is a pansy is what she said. Or a punk. Or a punk. Yes. So and that, and that generated all <laughs> kinds of discussion. And so we thought we really, we really need to follow up today with something on that. Yeah. And so we decided... Step up and be a man will be the subject matter. Mm-hmm, and really, mm-hmm. we're talking to uh, the husbands a lot in this situation because one of the things that we uncovered was even though we believe that a wife should respect her husband no matter what, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. we also can understand why it is that some wives lose respect for their husbands. Right. And so what I want to do, what we want to do is try to help out some husbands today, some men in your relationship, help you to get be that a- respect. Yeah, to get it back. You know, if you, know you don't feel you are being respected. Yeah how you can get that back. Yeah, yeah. Even though we do believe that you should be automatically respected because you are, you know, you are married and that's your man, that's your woman, you know, you should respect each other regardless, but we know reality is that's hard. That's right. When they're not being respectable. Yes. So we're talking about and going to give some, hopefully, some enlightenment. (laughs) Yes, hopefully. So let's let's start with this, okay? okay? I want you to ask me why it is that a man might, shrink from his responsibilities okay. as a man. Ask right. me that and I'll tell you right now. Okay, babe, why? <laughs> why might a man yeah, yeah. shrink from his responsibilities <laughs> yes. in a relationship? Okay, let me just tell you right now. I, I have experienced this myself mm-hmm. and it was crazy. It didn't happen as much as a husband. Well, it kind of, okay. First, it happened, it happened as a husband first, but I would say it wasn't as intense. I felt it for real, for real, mm-hmm. when you were pregnant with John John and it was like maybe a month or so before the due date. All right, that's our first child. John is our oldest son. He's 15 years old. And before he came into the world, something happened to me as a husband, as a man, as a father. I was like filled with fear one day when I realized, oh my goodness, I'm about to be a dad. And I was about to raise a boy, and I got to be a good father to this boy. And I'm thinking of all these different things in my mind. I'm finding this out for the first time, by the way, guys. Yeah, I've never told Abra this. I did not know this. Now, now let me just say real quick, one of the things that it did, one of the ways it manifested itself was I tried to do other things in advance of John John coming in order to fill this void of sort of wanting to be a good father. I wanted to be like an ultra provider. So I don't know if you remember this, but like right before John was born, I went out and got cars. I, I, bu- I bought a new car <laughs> and stuff. And I was did. like, the car we have, it's not reliable enough. We got to get yes. something else. And I was doing all kind of stuff, you know, buying uh, car seats and whatever. Just feeling like I could start preparing for him by being a good father beforehand. It kind of does something to you psychologically. Mm-hmm. And um, there was something else that, I, that, that, that happened. Uh, before John was born, and that is when I realized that it was my responsibility to be the priest of the home, which means I'm the one sort of responsible for making sure that my wife and children uh, are saved. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's like a huge Mm -hmm. weight. Mm -hmm. I I already do that for a living, and for some reason it didn't have the same effect as Mm -hmm. when I realized it Mm -hmm. in my home. Mm -hmm. And so what it does to us sometimes, because it did, okay, so for some men, it causes us to want to retreat. 
Okay. And some men's retreating looks like actually leaving. I know of some men who have left their families because they were scared that they were going to fail as a father or a husband. Mm -hmm. And now a wife won't understand this at all. A woman will be like, why would you do that? I mean, you scared to fail and so you're going to (laughs) leave? Now you definitely failed. You know what I'm saying? Why would you do that? But I can't explain why it happens that way. Mm -hmm. But for some reason, it happens that way for men. Now, for me, I was never tempted to actually leave, but I was tempted to check out and to not actually do anything Mm. in that regard because Mm -hmm. if I tried, I might fail. So if I don't do anything, I won't fail at least. See what I'm saying? Right, 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 right. So so Mm -hmm. that's why I think some men fall into this category of, of, of having a hard time stepping up when it comes to the things that they're responsible for as a man. Sometimes we're just scared to fail and we don't want to actually do that. So we retreat and say, Maybe I shouldn't do anything at all. Mm -hmm. Guys, I want to tell you now, that is not the right posture to take because your wife and children need you. So you need to just plow through that joint. Don't worry about it and and step up. That's respect loss right away. Oh, of course it is. Because like you just said, you said women, you might not be able to understand that. No, we don't. Right. (laughs) I mean, you have your few women that leave their families, but that's rare. It is rare. You know, when you hear that, you're like, what? A wife, a woman, a mother would leave her family? Yeah. Because that doesn't happen often. Right. Right. So when we hear that, we're like, what? Just step up. Right. Like, how are you not going to step up and be a man right. and take care of your family? Right. So we don't even really understand that fully to be able to say, oh, OK, that's OK. I can see that. Right. Th- this is you this know. is literally where you would not get it at all. And that's OK. I just want you and other women to understand where this is coming from. It's not necessarily that they don't like you or that they don't like their family or that they don't like their kids or whatever. Sometimes it's just. I'm scared to fail as a husband and father, so I'm either going to be inactive or I'm going to just leave. Okay, so you're even saying that a man who is inactive is afraid to fail. But That's what I, I'm saying. But in my mind, like I can't, that, I can't even register. That doesn't even register with me because I'm like, if you are not going to be active, if you're not going to do the things that needs to be done to, to provide and to help the family, it's like you're staying around and we have to watch it now. Right. <laughs> I think it, I think it might be worse. And I don't know. But you almost m- feel like it's worse to be there and not and be not, active rather right. than just leave. I do. It's like <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're going to stay here and purposely not do anything. Right. Because of your daddy issues, mama right. issues, right. Right. whatever. Right. And I'm not trying to be inconsiderate about the fact that people do have You know, people do have things that they have gone through in their lives that cause them to react and act a certain way. Right. right? But I just feel like, I don't know. I I, just don't understand it. So I definitely feel like. Especially if you're approached and someone tells you what you're doing is wrong. Right. And you still don't change it. Yeah. That's where I'm like, okay, there's a problem here. I definitely feel like in some instances, the issue is that a man's example that he received growing up makes it so that it's hard for him to really know what to do. Yeah. Or maybe he grew up in a situation where he didn't have a father or any male figure around to kind of model what it looks like okay. to be a good husband and father. Now, I, I do understand this, but but I always, I don't know why I say, at least with some people that I know, it's like, okay, you are, you know, almost 50 years old. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. Your kids are probably teenagers now. Mm-hmm. You have seen, even if you just watch TV, mm-hmm. okay, you have seen what people say is a good man. Yeah, maybe. No, you have. I mean. you Just Barack Obama being president. Okay, you're right. That's true. You can right. say, all right, I at least saw him really caring about his wife. Right, right. Right. I saw that he took care of his daughters just by the relationship he had with them. But what you don't see is you don't see Barack persevering with his wife behind the scenes when he wants to just. Uh, stop arguing about something, but he keeps going so he can listen to her. You're not seeing that. That's true. You're you're, you're also not, because there's a lot of other stuff that goes into being a good father and husband besides just taking your son to a ball game or going out front and playing catch. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I agree. So so there are some things you're not going to get unless you're behind the scenes and see the background. You see what I'm saying? Okay, but do you say... That's what I want. Like, you no, you can't see Barack in the background. Right. But can you see him in the front and say, yes. it looks like he's like that. Right. What can I do? Who can I talk to? What can I read? Right. So that I can be like that, you know, and what I think he looks in the background. So let's pause for a okay. second. Let's pause for a second and just say. You have say, to want it. What you're really saying is to husbands, um, stop hiding. Stop making excuses. 
step up and be a man. Yes. <laughs> and whatever you have to do. Whatever has you, first of all, you're not you going to be perfect. No. And what I'm, what I'm starting perfect. Off, what, I'm, what I'm starting off by saying is you have to not be afraid of failure because you're going to mess up. Yes. And you can't allow the fear of failure to keep you from doing what needs to be done. Just get out there and do it. Your kids are not going to grow up and say, man, I hated my dad because he wasn't perfect. Right. No kid no, says that. No. What they no say is, man, that. I wish I no had a dad. That. I yeah. wish he would have been there for me. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's what they say. They do say that. So, so don't worry about not being perfect. You're not going to be perfect. But, right. but try your best to be a good dad. So right. if you have to read something, there are a bunch of podcasts out there you can listen to. Or talk to somebody that you know. Yes. Even if it's a, a friend that you see. That you looks know, like has friends. a good relationship right. and looks like is a good father. Yeah, how do you do that? Yes. Who do you look at to see? Yes. I don't know. Yes. Some, I feel like once you turn 50 yes. or you're in that, you have you had to have come across somebody, <laughs> <laughs> at least one person who yes. looks like. Yes. You know what I'm so, saying? So hold on. Let, let, okay. Let's pause again. I want to ask you a question now because I want you to help. Just in case the person didn't see the previous episode, okay, okay. I want you to help us to remember what mm-hmm. are the things that women say in their minds that make them lose respect for their husbands? What are the things that he doesn't do? What's, what's the stuff he's not doing? That make you, you, you yeah. said something the so, other day about like, you know, wanting well, to get work just, done just at the house. Just stepping up and saying, hey, you know, I, was, I gave the example of, you know, somebody's doing work on the house and it wasn't right. done right. Right. And you st- and the wife or whoever is saying, hey, can you call and handle that? Right. And your response is, no, I'm just going to leave it alone. Right. Uh, let's just let's not worry about that. Don't worry about it. We'll just get somebody else to come and fix yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's like you are too much of a punk to call. <laughs> I mean, you know what I'm saying? Yes. To call the company and say, no, this was not done right. We're not going to pay for this or yeah. you need to come fix it. I'm saying little things like that will yeah. build in a relationship. Yeah. Yeah. So even if you put aside the children, because yes. everybody don't have kids, right. right? Right. You can put that aside and you can say there are still some women who won't respect their man because they won't step up and have the courage to say or do what needs to be done mm. in order to, you know, do what needs to be done as a family so or you're, whatever. So you're saying, you know what I'm so you're saying being a husband, being a father, being a, 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 a boyfriend, whatever, whatever. It, it means providing, it means uh, protecting, mm-hmm, it mm-hmm. also means having courage to be able to step up and basically go out there and do what needs to be done for the family. That's yes. what you're basically talking and about. And I'm saying we live in a world where, and let's just be real, okay, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. men get more respect out there. Right. OK, so there are times when you need your man to be the one to do certain things mm-hmm. because they are going to get more respect when it mm-hmm. comes to, you know, something as simple as buying a car. Mm-hmm. You're going to get a good, a better deal just because you are a man, mm. you know, and right. usually you're talking to other men who are selling. I mean, I've had right. so many situations where I'll go and handle stuff and you can see the disrespect that the man <laughs> who is on the other end. Has you know for I'm you saying? because has you're a woman. Yeah, I was yeah. talking to one of my friends and she was saying she wanted to get some roof work done. Uh-huh. And she was on the line with the guy and he was like, um, do you know anything about this? And uh, she's the one goodness. who handles that stuff because she's the bomb with stuff like that. Okay. But she got disrespect. But she said, do you know I had to give the husband to my man? To my, I had to give the man the phone to my husband uh-huh. who knows nothing about uh, this. Right. Just so that uh, this guy. Respect. And she said, right. and we decided not to go with him because of the fact that he had no respect mm. for her. And so I'm saying, look, this is the world we live in. So yeah. you have to play the game right. right and right. I mean, sometimes, and it's not always, but sometimes the man needs to step up and he has to be the one to do it. Now, yeah. we talked about also how it may not be his personality to mm-hmm. do that. But mm-hmm. I'm saying that is also a man. You got to right. step outside of yourself, right. which women do all the time. Right. Women yeah. step out of themselves all the time and do what the, needs to be done. What needs to be done. Yeah. And I'm saying, I think it's just because. That's just how we are as women. Mm-hmm. We are protectors as mm-hmm. well, but we're mm-hmm. like mother, mother, mo- hen. mother hen. Yeah, you know, yeah, we yeah, gonna yeah. make sure everybody is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. So I, I just and and I don't I don't I want to make sure that we're not. This is not about gender roles. This it's is not, not about no. men need to do this, women need to do. This. It's about right. what needs to be done for That's that right. family. And I know women, and you saw from the remarks, from mm-hmm. the responses, mm-hmm. that women want men to be men. Yeah. A, lo- a lot of the and people be able to have the courage to do what needs to be done. Yeah, a lot of the people. That, a lot of people that were commenting on Wednesday were were agreeing with you that they felt like they needed their man to be doing certain things for them to feel like they could respect him. Right. And things like taking care of, uh, you know, um, stuff that takes courage to step up and do that a wife wouldn't necessarily want to have to do. Uh, things have to do with providing, and uh, you know. 
and things to like be that, honest pr- with you, you know I what I'm saying? think that women already feel like they do a lot. Yes. And I don't want to say the word everything, but some women do feel like they do everything. Okay. Some so of them some do. Some women feel like they do everything already. Yes. And I also have to be going out and doing this, this, that, and the other right. that I feel like you should be doing yeah. as the man. So it, it's, 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 it's really a very sensitive topic because I think it's just different per, it is different per couple, per family, whatever. Of course. But I think the overall thing is women, and I think this is just who we are as women. Mm. And we have to accept that. Women want to feel cared for. Mm. That's just what, that's just how we are. Right. That's our makeup. We yes. want to feel like we are sitting and a protection covering is over yes. us. Yes. And that's how I feel about my man. You know, right. I feel like I who, can. Who, who's your man? You my man, you my man, you my man. But I feel like, you know, I feel like a protection mm-hmm. is covering mm-hmm. because, you know, you, you you protect the family. You do that. And I think I need it. Do right. you need that as a man? Not really. I, That's I, what I'm saying. What I need, you need from something you, else. you need me. I need nurturing. You need nurturing. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And, and you give that to me all the time. And that's what we're, we're natural nurturers. Right. 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 So you need nurture. You need respect. Right. Yeah, and you okay. need love, clearly. Yes, yeah. and I need to feel cared for. Yes. Okay, right. and I think those are things. I think as simple as, things as simple as, um, you know, uh, uh, um, planning the family vacation. Mm. Now, women, we are organized people, mm-hmm. not all women. Mm-hmm. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But you have some yeah, women, yes. some women yeah. who are very particular, very organized, and those are usually the controlling wives. Uh-huh. <laughs> they are. You know, and I know that I have that side of right. me yeah, 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 that yeah, I have yeah, to yeah. keep under control. But I have to <laughs> help keep at bay sometimes. I do so. have to keep that at bay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, but you have those controlling women who, mm-hmm. they're, they're like, oh, no, I'm planning this is what we're doing. Boom, boom, boom. Here's mm-hmm. the itinerary. This mm-hmm. is where we're going, what we're doing. Mm-hmm. But I do think that some women want it to be where the husbands tell them, hey, this is what we're going to do. Mm-hmm. You know, I mm-hmm. got this. Mm-hmm. Don't worry mm-hmm. about it. Mm-hmm. I got it. And mm-hmm. I can trust that all the money wasn't spent. Mm-hmm. Hello? Yeah. I Hello. can trust that the <clears throat> hotel's the bomb. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah, not yeah. some roach infested, <laughs> COVID covered <laughs> hotel. Okay. <laughs> You know, I can guarantee yeah. that we're gonna have a car ready for us when we get. Hello. Right. Okay. That's I'm true. talking, and I'm naming these things because you have the people, the women, the wives, the girlfriends who feel like he is not a man mm-hmm. because you go and the hotel wasn't booked mm-hmm. right, the the car wasn't ready. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying, mm-hmm. you late. Th- those you're are late thing, for everything. Those you, are things that help you to respect your man. <laughs> it does, and to feel like he's a real man. I'm telling you, it's something about when we're going on a trip, my husband is ready and on time. Like mm-hmm. he is, he he's ready. Mm-hmm. He's going to have that car packed mm-hmm. and we're going to be on our way within, you know, a 30 minute. Whatever time you know what it I'm takes saying? to get them to get yeah, ready. Exactly. I'm not the one being late though. I'm just, <laughs> what I'm saying is when you are on point like that right. and not in a belligerent way, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. So yeah. you're not like, right. come on, y'all need to hurry up. Why yeah, y'all taking so long? I said, let's go. <laughs> you know, that's not what I'm talking about. Right, okay? right, 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 right. I'm talking about right. lovingly yes. and caringly, you know, yeah. being there to say, hey, guys, this is what we have going on. Yes. I am ready. I have yes. prepared for the family, the things that are needed to make sure that we are safe. So t- let me, that we let me are see not if I broken down it. on the side of the road. I hear you describing leadership. That's what it sounds like wow. to me. Oh, that feels, is exactly what I'm describing. It feels, like, it feels like what you need, and you can't speak for every woman, but it seemed like there were several on the live on Wednesday night that were saying the same kind of thing, that what they ultimately want from their man in order mm-hmm, to feel like they can respect mm-hmm. him is that he's a lead, that he leads. Yes, but he leads in love. That's right. You know, you, you don't want somebody who's... He leads um, in good things. He's yeah. not leading in a uh, boss way yeah, 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 or yeah. in right. a master-slave right. way. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm so saying? So you, you want to equal... That's a leader. Exactly. You don't. You don't want it to be. Who where, cares about what you think? Yes. Right. Who 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 plans based on what you would like? That's right. Yeah. Okay. Not just his own. Thing. Not just his right. own thing. Yeah. And of course, what you guys would like, but of course. But really, keeping in mind, I know my wife is very particular about this or that. Yeah. So I'm gonna make yeah. sure that she has a hotel. Right. That is. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you know, well, dust free. You know right. what I'm we're, saying? We're, we're worth her, you know, <laughs> sleeping her beautiful head on that pillow. Exactly. Yeah. I'm saying that's a man. And that's yeah. what women want. And right. I'm saying the men who don't do that, it's like either you're clueless or mm. you are so selfish that 
you are never willing to come out of yourself. Mm. If you are uh, someone who is uh, um, shy mm-hmm. or introverted or mm-hmm. whatever, you don't have to always be extroverted. Right. You don't have to always, but sometimes when, you have to step out of that introvert uh, spirit or uh, whatever, and you have to be a man mm-hmm. and have the courage to come out of your shyness mm-hmm. and talk to the hardwood floor company and right. say, y'all didn't y'all, do this y- right. Y'all messed this up. Yeah. <laughs> y'all messed this up. That's part of your role as provider. It That's is. part of your role as protector. As It is. And, and, I and, believe and, that. And, and not saying that, that the woman can't do that. Because right. we do it all the time. Of course. Yeah. So it's not that we can't do it. Let me just say this, though. Here's the thing about men that they may not know. The thing you're running from, the thing you're scared to fail at, is actually one of the most fulfilling feelings you can have. Mm. I can't think of something more fulfilling. There, there are several things that are fulfilling in my life, but mm-hmm. one of them mm-hmm. is knowing that my wife feels safe and comfortable yes. because I'm a provider and a protector. Yeah. There's something about that. And I don't know, you don't even realize right now as a man that you're missing out on a feeling that you would love. Mm -hmm. You know, you may not, it may be uncomfortable to confront that guy about that thing that he didn't do. By the way, there was one thing that somebody said in the comments last week uh, Mm -hmm. on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. uh, She said, uh, the thing she really loses respect is that if some other man comes and speaks Mm -hmm. to her Mm -hmm. in a way that Mm -hmm. disrespects her, and and her husband's standing right there and don't say nothing. That is a punk. That she's like, nah, man, I can't. That, that you is know what I'm a punk. So, sometimes, <laughs> some, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes you have you to find say a it way. Like that. You have to. Sometimes you I'm have sorry. to find a way to step out of yourself. You do. Go out of your comfort zone and be what your wife needs you to be. I, and sometimes she needs a protector. Look, sometimes she needs a provider. You know what I'm saying? That's what you need to step up and do. Not step even, up. Yes. Be a man. And I'm saying so many women end up coming out of themselves and have to be the mother, the father, yes, the grandparents, right. the everything. And that's not fair. It is. If you're if you're in a relationship with not. a husband and you guys are together the two of you, the wife should not have to be the man. And it's so funny because the husband because should not have to be the woman. No. <laughs> and I don't hear I I rarely hear a man saying uh you know, I really get upset because my wife is not leading. Hmm. I don't hear that. That's true. Because men don't need that as much. Right. Right. That's true. I agree. So, now, men. Now, I'm going to say this. There are some men that I think as boys, they had a mother who really babied them. Mm-hmm. Now, I don't think that we shouldn't baby our kids. I mean, there's a time for babying your children. Yes. So that's but not, not what but I mean. But not until adult years. No. And yeah. that's what I'm saying. Right. You are a teenager and you're still being babied. Right. You yeah. know, your mama does everything for right. you. Right. You know, you don't do anything for yourself. So then right. when the time comes, you don't know what to do and you need another mother. So you find another woman who is going to be that mother. Right. And she just picks up and doesn't mm-hmm. like it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Not that. Yeah. N- and what I'm saying is when you're dating before mm-hmm. marriage and everything, mm-hmm. you are, you know, you're excited, whatever. And, yeah. But when you get married and things get real and yeah. things happen and circumstances take place, it begins to come out Mm -hmm. that I don't really like this. Mm -hmm. I don't really like that. I have to always be the one leading. I have to always be the one, you know, directing and making sure everything goes right. Right. I want to be able to trust my man to take on, take this on and me not having to be a micromanager. Right. Women don't like that. Right. We will do it. Right. But you don't want to have to do it. Because we want things done right. And all the while that it's happening, all the while that it's happening, you're slowly but surely losing respect for your man. It is. And so so husbands, honestly, here's the bottom line. If you want to be respected, one aspect is going to be that your wife will just do it because she's supposed to. Mm -hmm. But the reality Mm -hmm. is, Mm -hmm. if you want to really feel respect for you, Mm -hmm. you're going to have to start stepping up and being a man. Now I'm going to say this before we go to our word of the day. All right, say it. When your man tries to step up, mm-hmm. okay, because I did say something. I said, and do it right. That mm-hmm. the women sometimes have to come in and mm-hmm. micromanage so it's done right. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about from a woman's perspective, mm-hmm. we think it has to be done right. But I do believe that sometimes that can be a bad thing to have, like it has to be done right, which means it's my way. Uh, That's not good. Yes, I agree. Because a man so, can so do it. So finish sentence. Like, when your man steps up. When your man steps up uh-huh. and he decides, okay, I am going to leave. Uh-huh. You have to trust him. And you have to just let him and do his thing. And you have to just thing. let him do it his way. That's it. And as he continues to do that, he will get better at it. Yep. But I think we can, and you said, lead from behind, mm-hmm. which is, is awesome. There's sometimes you have Because you to can do lead that. from behind, mm-hmm. and when you do that, he don't even know you leading. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then you gain respect for him as he takes on those those clues, those yep. little tips that yep. you that you're you know yep. you're putting in there. He does what he's supposed to do. He does it in a way that 
makes the family happy and 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 you end up you end up coming out on the, on the on a good end. Now we said we we're going to do a whole episode on this so we'll wait for later but I'm okay. going to give you a, I'm going to give the wise a tip right okay. now. One tip on how to leave from behind, okay? Here's an example of what you can do. Instead of criticizing all the stuff you don't like that he does, here's a great way to leave from behind. Compliment it when he does it well. Yeah. So, yeah. If there's some let's say he did something and it had 10 steps to it and you only like two of those steps, Compliment those two steps. Don't mention anything about the other steps. Mm -hmm. First of all, your man is smart enough, even though you don't think he is, his brain, he's fearfully and wonderfully made, his brain is uh, constructed in such a way that he can pick up subliminal messages. So he can tell that even though you said these good things about that, he's going to notice you didn't say anything about the other stuff. And he's going to say to himself, oh, man, okay, well, if those two things were good, I wonder how I can improve the other stuff next time to get that to be good too. Don't cut him down. (laughs) <laughs> yeah you know, you know i feel saying? like if the things that, that your man didn't do right didn't kill nobody yeah didn't didn't break the home financially right you know didn't cause anybody any injury right. or losing a job yeah i think we can just be quiet and then live with it and live with yeah. it and then you can find a way to share hey you know i really like this you know but how about we you know, I don't know. I don't so, know. So here's what I'm saying. I'm like saying, said, le- I'm saying behind, lead from behind simply from means behind. don't give any suggestions no, on how it should be done because now you're clearly trying yeah. to manipulate, manipulate the, it. Yeah. Don't worry about that. No, Instead, no. just compliment, compliment the stuff did. he did well. Exactly. That's what it. happens is he realized, oh, she likes it like this. And so those other things that weren't done right will be They'll will be fixed be over fixed. time. Well, over time. But, over but time. But it's patience. That's it. Okay. And trust. Trust. That is so And that's so pa- that's a huge, huge part of respect. If you're going to respect your husband, you got to trust, trust him. Trusting him enough to say, he's going to plan the vacation and I'm not going to be ma- going in there trying to figure out what it is he's doing. Exactly. I'm going to leave from behind. Yep. Okay. I'm going to compliment him on what he's doing right. That's and, it. And as I compliment him, yep. he will see the things that I like and how I like things to so be done. So this vacation may not be perfect. And next right. year it may not be perfect either. But three years from now? That joint's going to be off the chain because at that point, he will have figured out by what went wrong and stuff like that. And by the way, you'd be surprised at how often your husband will just engage you in conversation about how something went what do you th- when or, you're not being belligerent and always trying to tell true. him what to do. Or when he's planning, hey, babe, what do you think about this? Yeah, he'll, he'll, he, he'll, he'll bring you in. Yes. But if you sit over his shoulder the whole time like a little puppeteer Men trying to pump. Men don't like that. We hate it. Men do not like we that. We hate it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm telling you right now, your man will step up and be a man. If you learn to compliment him. him and let him do his thing, really trust him, is. Let him, it's going to happen. But mm-hmm. men, we got to step up. Yeah. Okay, now, word of the day. Okay, word of the day. What is it, babe? Word the word of the day is, is escalate. 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 Here's what okay. escalate means. Mm-hmm. Become or cause to become more intense or serious. Mm-hmm. Escalate. More intense or serious about So we got to be more intense and more serious about our role as provider, protector, and priest of the home. Mm-hmm. Those three P's. That's what we are. Yes. We provide, we protect, we're the priest. Yes. So, so our family, we're responsible for making sure that they're spiritual. We're making sure that they are safe. And we're making sure that they have the things that they need. Food, clothing, shelter. That's our job. We got to step up and do it. Escalate. Yes. Go to the next level with that thing. Go to the next level in your leadership of your home in, in a loving way. That's exactly right. Yes. You can do it. I'm telling you right now. Don't you be afraid can. to fail. In you fact, can. failure is just something that will help you to learn. That's all it's going to yeah, do. Yeah. You're not going to fail and never get up again. Nah, you'll mess up and you do every day. Every time you fail, learn from it. Don't ever waste a failure. Yeah, yeah. And I, <laughs> but and you'll I, never learn if you don't get out there and do it. And I have to it. say, escalate in helping with the children. Oh, absolutely. You know, that no is, question. for a woman, that's huge. It's mammoth. Because when we, when we feel like our man thinks that uh, we have to do everything for the kids, the, the women have to do whatever it is that it has to do with the kids, it's the woman. Right. That's not the case. We're right. in this together. We're right. raising these kids together. Right. We need to both be helping. We're taking them to school, yep. to making sure they're ready for this, that, and the other. So April just threw that last you one know, in for y'all women. Just I did. I had to throw that in. Because sometimes... <laughs> Sometimes we feel like that, yeah. you know? So escalate, so, men, yeah. in every way. we stepping up this whole week, and then next week, and a week after that, we stepping it up, yes. and we're going to be men. All right? Yes. So escalate. go ahead and subscribe, and make yeah, sure yeah, you're yeah. with us on Wednesday night at 9. Wednesday night we are nine. going we'll be right to be here talking live. about women and how they need to be loved. That's right. This upcoming Wednesday, 9 yes. o'clock. Be there. Or be square. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, right, guys. Y'all.